Hi, my name is Jaku and I'm Director of Product Management at Tungle and today I'm going to give you a short tutorial on the um, Tungle Blackberry Beta. So you've received a link uh, to download the, uh, the Tungle app and once you've installed it you'll have a Tungle icon on your home view. So to launch the app you just click on the icon and it's going to bring you to a sign prompt. Um, if you're an existing Tungle user uh, you'll be able to enter the same credentials here if you don't uh, already have an account, just click on the register, uh, fill out the form, and uh, you'll be able to, uh, to get an account, a uh, free account. So uh, for now, we'll just uh, sign in here. That's going to log me in with the same uh, credentials as a regular Tungle.me uh, website. So the first time you launch the app, you'll see a tutorial. Um, for now, we'll skip it, but please um, go through it and send us feedback, whether it's uh, meaningful, uh, too long, definitely not too short, and uh, how it could be improved if needs be. So for now, I'm going to skip it. Uh, first time, also, you're going to be asked if you want to sync. So you pick uh, whether you want to sync contacts and uh, the calendars you want to sync with us. And once you click on sync now, it's going to uh, upload those contacts and calendars to uh, Tungle. It may take a few minutes if you have uh, a few thousands contact and calendar events. Otherwise, it should be done in a matter of, uh, let's say, 30 seconds or so. So, in my case, it's almost uh, done. And... Uh, so, uh, now I'm ready. My contacts have been synced with Tungle, as well as my BlackBerry calendars. So uh, you're brought to what we call the home view. So here uh, on the top uh, section, uh, and once it's uh, it's downloaded from Tungle, you'll see your uh, meetings for the day. So uh, the first time you run the app, it needs to download them. Uh, later, it will cache them. Uh, when you click on the top section, it will also show you uh, your uh, Tungle meetings. So these meetings are actually uh, taken from my BlackBerry calendars where I uploaded to Tungle and now I'm retrieving them. If my Tungle accounts were in sync with uh, my Outlook or, from, for my, or my Mac for instance, those events will also be displayed here. Okay. Uh, the contacts uh, section is used to uh, show your, um, your uh, colleagues calendar. So again, the first time you launch the app, it will retrieve your calendars. Uh, it may take a few minutes, a few seconds the first time, um, but let's see um, in this case. So now it's updating the busy status. You'll see once they, they appear uh, that those that are green means they're currently available according to their calendar. Those that are, are, are red are currently busy. So let's see a uh, calendar of uh, sharing buddy, Nicholas for instance. He will retrieve um, his uh, calendar. Uh, so it's coming. By the way, you can share uh, FreeBusy only or meeting details. So when you share meeting details, you have the, the subject of these meetings. So uh, by the way, you can share uh, across platforms. Uh, so BlackBerry to Outlook to Mac uh, without problem to Google, the same thing. So now let's go through uh, the scheduled meetings. So um, to use this, uh, this feature, you click on schedule meeting. It will show you a horizontal uh, view of your calendar. So to pick participants, you go here, uh, use the search, and if this person happens to be uh, Tungle uh, sharing contacts, you'll also see their availability. To propose time, you just click on the cell, uh, to propose a bunch of times, and remember, uh, the more, more time you propose, a uh, better chance the meeting gets booked, and also, uh, if you're synced, uh, whatever times that you've proposed, if your calendar changes, your availability will be automatically updated. So no chance of double booking. If you want, you can uh, change the, the view uh, with filters. By default, it's working hours. And if you're too uh, lazy to propose time, you can also use the Tungle Suggest. Basically, it will query the server for available times for the participants. So once you're done, you click on Next. Uh, you enter the subject location message. You send it and it's going to send emails to all the participants. So let's cancel it for now. Uh, from the management uh, section, you'll be able to see all your uh, Tungle pending meetings as well as the upcoming uh, book meetings. 
And finally, in the action, sec action item section, you'll see a uh, sharing request that you've received, where we can accept um, or decline uh, from here. Uh, last tab is the options. Uh, this is where you control uh, what calendars or contacts to be synced, uh, also the frequency. So by default, the calendar will calendar and contacts will be synced both ways to, with Tungle every 10 minutes. Uh, you can force the syncing from here. And if you're having network problems, you can also change to a different network uh, from here. So uh, last thing, but probably the coolest, uh, we're also integrated with your email. So let's say you have an email and uh, you want to uh, schedule a meeting with uh, this email to, to discuss uh, the subject of it. So what you do is just left click, uh, schedule with Tungo, it's going to launch the app and um, automatically fill the list of participants with those that are in the to and CC of the email. So bear with me a second here. Yeah, it's taking a bit of time. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Frederick was the uh, one of the participants, and uh, if he was a Tungle user, I will also see his availability here if you share it with me. So the same thing is available also from the uh, your address book. So basically, uh, that's it. That's the uh, short tutorial of Tungle. Uh, let us know uh, if you have any problems, feedback, suggestions, and I will be uh, glad to help you. Thanks. Bye.